Welcome to the Deal News Seller's Guide. Today we'll talk about Amazon Prime Day 2020. What should sellers do differently this year to prepare? And how can they get ready for the event at the last minute? Amazon Prime Day 2020 could be extra challenging for marketplace sellers. According to CNET, the event is taking place in the fourth quarter of this year, even though it typically happens in July. But a Q4 date could have it bumping up against Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the holiday shopping season. Plus, the coronavirus pandemic is a continuing issue. So what should Amazon Marketplace sellers do? We talked to a couple of Amazon experts about ways to approach Prime Day this year, and how to prep at the last minute for the event. Let's get down to it. What exactly should sellers do differently when preparing for Prime Day 2020? Nuance Media CEO Ryan Flanagan says, if Prime Day does in fact occur around the same time as Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the holiday shopping season, sellers should be encouraged to discuss with suppliers to increase inventory, producing more units than sold over last year's Q4 to handle the increased demand. Additionally, since many shoppers may opt to shop exclusively at home this year due to the pandemic, this may also contribute to increased demand as well. Amazon expert Jason Boyce also recommends keeping inventory top of mind for this year's Prime Day. Boyce is founder and CEO of Avenue7Media.com, and he says, If you're experiencing COVID-related supply chain issues and low stock, and you think you'll likely run out of inventory this holiday season, then hold your ground and don't discount anything during Prime Day, especially if your items are already ranked well. In fact, Boyce advises that you should only discount items during the event if you have enough stock to remain in stock during the holidays, and then some. He says, if you think you'll run out of stock, then take a pass on Prime Day this year and make as much profit as you can on your existing items while they're still in stock. Lastly, start planning now for an FBM backup plan, should FBA shut down your ability to restock. Also, think about software and staffing during your Prime Day preparations. Flanagan says, this is also a good time to review the quality of sellers' third-party software that cover logistics and customer service to ensure a quality user experience for their customers. Depending on volume, it would be a good time for sellers to consider hiring additional seasonal staff and or virtual assistants to help with returns, customer service issues, and to help with quickly revolving cases with FBA or seller support if any issues arise. You may have a lot of ideas for Prime Day now, but not everyone gets to their Prime Day preparations with a lot of time to spare. It's not ideal, but you can still get ready for the event at the last minute. Flanagan offers the following suggestions. Increase your ad budget, for one thing. Second, leverage coupons to draw attention to your product and search. Third, optimize listings with good photos, videos, content, strong reviews, A-plus content, and an Amazon storefront. Flanagan's fourth tip is to leverage sponsored brands to guide shoppers to your store. And finally, leverage any marketing channels you have off of Amazon to drive sales. Boyce emphasizes the need for backup. He says, plan as if you won't be able to restock in FBA. Have a pick, pack, and ship backup plan ready prior to Prime Day and prior to the holiday season, because this one is going to be an ugly one. That's all for this edition of the Deal News Seller's Guide. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss a new one. And if you want to learn how you can turbocharge your marketplace revenue and gain access to the exclusive Deal News traffic network, head to advertise.dealnews.com or send an email to getstarted at dealnews.com. Thanks for listening.